At dawn, first light touches Ikuku village. Children walk along dusty paths to school as cattle and goats move slowly through the morning light. A familiar rhythm of life in the north of Namibia. Among the maize fields, a young woman harvests her family's crop, rooted in her village, but determined to become more than her circumstances. Her name is Josephine. I was born here in Ikuku village in the Oshakati constituency in the Oshana region in northern of Namibia. It was really interesting growing up in the village. There's always something to do at the village. It's never a boring day. As much as the village is a beautiful place, there are some limitations here at the village. Especially here in my village, there's no school, so I had to go to the nearest village. So it was a big distance to walk when I was a child. Josephine's educational journey was one of constant movement to reach better schools, often far from home, with little to rely on but her will. Resources were scarce, but her determination was not. Step by step, against the odds, she climbed until she earned her place at university. But then another challenge presented itself. University was a dream her family simply couldn't afford. Sokopiranium was offering a bursary for electrical engineering. It was advertised um, on social media, but a lecturer of mine saw it and then shared it with us. Josephine applied for the Swakop Uranium Bursary as a first-year student. I was not hoping much because it was my first bursary I applied for, but then I finally got the bursary. It was such a huge relief and it took a huge burden off my family and I really got to go through university smoothly because of the Swakop Uranium Bursary. When I went to university, I was not really sure about what is electrical engineering. Coming from the village, there was no electricity. So I didn't really understand the complexity of what an electrical engineer does. But what she lacked in exposure, she made up for in effort. Through relentless work and a drive to understand, Josephine pushed forward and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in electrical engineering with honors. Josephine's journey continued at Swakop Uranium, where she joined the graduate program, an initiative that doesn't just hire young professionals, it shapes them. With over 50 graduates trained through this program each year, it stands as one of Swakop Uranium's most impactful investments in Namibia's future. In this program, graduates rotate across different sections to gain not only experience, but also perspective to understand the full scope of the operation. Josephine's rotations took her through high voltage systems, pit electrical operations and plant automation, allowing her to understand the heartbeat of the company from every angle. It wasn't just about learning how things are done, it was about understanding why and how to improve them. Through mentorship from experienced professionals, Josephine grew her skills and her confidence. I joined the graduate program in February 2023. I have been able to do amazing projects under the graduate program. The mentorship and leadership is great and they really always motivate us to do our best and they encourage us to come up with innovative ideas to improve processes and obviously solve problems as engineers. In 2024, a long-held dream of Josephine's became a reality. She was selected to represent Swakop Uranium at the 30th anniversary celebration of China General Nuclear Power Group in China. I always wanted to go to China, but I never thought as a graduate I'll get the opportunity to now go to China. I got to go to the nuclear power plant, Daibei. It's the first nuclear power plant of CGN. So it was really interesting to know how a nuclear power plant works. It was really an experience. Josephine returned to Namibia enriched and inspired, carrying new ideas and aspirations into her professional future. With the completion of my graduate program, I hope to be appointed as a maintenance electrical engineer at Sokop Uranium. I want to at least get a master's degree in electrical engineering. I would love to be registered as a professional electrical engineer with the Engineering Council of Namibia. After that, I would like to at least do some innovative projects within not only Sokop Uranium, but also things that can improve the whole of Namibia. 
nothing is impossible. You just need to go out there, do your best. Someone will definitely see you or give you the opportunity. In Namibia, talent has always been abundant, but opportunities remain precious. Swak of Uranium, through initiatives aligned with the NDP6 and the Belt and Road Initiative, is building real bridges to the future. By investing in education, cultural exchange and sustainable development, Swak of Uranium is helping nurture a new generation of Namibian leaders. Among them are more than 220 women, like Josephine, who are breaking new ground in a traditionally male-dominated industry. Josephine's journey from a village girl to a skilled and visionary engineer is a testament to what is possible when opportunity meets determination. With knowledge, passion and a sense of responsibility, Josephine and many others are now contributing actively to a more prosperous Namibia. I am proud to be part of a generation that's not only growing, but growing with purpose. I want to help build my country with advanced technology, innovation and integrity, and to shape an energy future that is smart, sustainable and proudly Namibian.